Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share the latest word given to Julie Wedby. The title is Watch Expectantly and See What I Will Do. And this word was posted December 31st, 2022. Oh, my daughter and all my beautiful ones, I am here. I am closer than your next breath. I know your hearts and the desire you have to seek me with everything you have. Although the suffering is great for all of you that are close to me, and evil increases exponentially, I have instructed you that you are to suffer well, for it is in this suffering that you have learned obedience, that your faith has been increased and that you set the example here of what it means to walk the crucified life, yet display the glorified life, as I did when I walked this earth. Nothing you can suffer here compares to the suffering I endured. My love knows no bounds, therefore yours does not either. A servant's heart is what I have taught you, even in the midst of your suffering, especially in the midst of your suffering. For you see, I have strategically placed those around you in various relationships, whether they be family members, co-workers, acquaintances that need to see you suffer well, because it will be the only way they see me. The opportunities for those who have not made a commitment to me come to a close as I remove my hand of protection and grace from the earth. At this point, those who have lived by the law will be judged by the law. A greater refining fire is upon you for those who need more training and for those who have not heeded the call I have placed upon their hearts and lives to be my disciples. Although many of them are still mine, there is a separation now for those who are not living according to my word. There will be no excuses for them, as you have been the example I have given them of what it looks like to live in holiness, righteousness, and obedience, even while suffering. Those such as yourselves that have learned my ways and accepted my will for your lives have my understanding that in the suffering I allow while incarnated here, you grow in great intimacy and maturity in me. It is here in this place of humility, contriteness, and brokenness that I pour out my spirit and counsel you in my ways, giving you the understanding, wisdom, revelation, and knowledge of the kingdom that otherwise cannot be attained. To suffer as I did brings great joy to you who understand the deeper meaning of why you have come here and the great purpose you have in furthering my kingdom and giving me glory. I have taught you from my word that living in the spirit is contrary to living in the flesh, and therefore you must continue to be extremely circumspect that you only speak life and that your thoughts align with mine. The mind is the battlefield, and most operate from the mind, but my children know that to overcome, you must be in alignment with my word and abide in my heart. So the fleshly man is put under the submission and obedience of the spirit at all times. In this way, you will speak my words. My thoughts will be your thoughts and your responses will be in humility and love to each situation you encounter. I speak to you this way from deep within, and in this way others will only encounter me. In these final moments, my remnant, before all changes, and I pour out my spirit and my strength upon you, continue to love and be loved. Continue to pray relentlessly for the lost. I hear every utterance of your hearts. Your prayers avail much in my kingdom. Never underestimate how powerful they are when you walk in me. 
Rejoice, as I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give according to your works. Be about my Father's business above all else. Remain completely committed to that which I have purposed and called for you to do, not allowing idolatry of any kind to hinder you from my will and direction for you in this late hour. If I have called you to leave family, employment, places of residence, and there has been hesitancy, pray for the courage and resolve to do as you have been instructed now. Put nothing before my call on your life. As I have spoken previously, your positioning is critical, and I will make a way where there appears to be none. Remember, if you are not completely aligned with me and my will for you, not only will your course be altered, but so will all those who you are in relationship with will be altered as well. Paradigms shift and frequencies are increased or lowered as my people either respond or hesitate to my instructions. Do not get in the way of what I am trying to do in those closest to you. Release them to me. Only I can penetrate their hearts and bring them to a place of brokenness. Fear is not of me. Discouragement and despair are not of me. Nothing is to come before me, not your family, your work, your living situation, your finances, your ministry. Those who have placed these things before me will not advance now as I come to pour out my spirit according to my word in this season. Be ready in every moment now. Be hopeful and be encouraged as all things come to pass. You have nothing to fear when you are in me, with me, living through me, and I have surrounded you with my angelic realm to assist you in all you have been called to do. All of my promises to you are coming true. Watch expectantly and see what I will do. Yahushua. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.